Okay, uh, sorry if you can hear like any background noise. This is kind of a weird mic setup. Anyway, um, I've had a lot of people ask me this, like a ton of people, so eventually I just decided like, why don't I just make a tutorial for it? Because otherwise people are gonna just keep asking me and it's gonna kind of be annoying. Anyway, so the issue is whenever you, uh, whenever you have like your particles, you're making your particles, right? Uh, let's say I have these particles. I made these a while ago. Anyway, you have these particles and uh, they look really nice. They're exactly how you want them. Let's say I want mine to be like silver and gray, right? This is the uh, crit particle and this is the sharpness particle. Uh, and then you look at them in game and for some reason the, the particles look a bit different. They look colored in a different way than you would expect them to be. They look something like that where the sharpness particle is like super teal and then the crit particle is a bit more yellow than you might expect. So that's because Minecraft actually uh, does a bit of an overlay, an automatic overlay. It overlays these colors onto the particles. So for the sharpness particle, you have like a dark teal color that's overlaid onto it. And then for the crit particle, you have a very uh, relatively less saturated yellowish tan color. So now how do we get around this exactly? Well, for one, you could just make your sharpness particle really dark so that the color doesn't come out as much. And then the uh, crit particle, you could make like super, super, uh, I don't know, let's see. Maybe we could make this super red or something, so, you know, it looks still red, pretty much. You could make, oh my god, that's awful. Yeah, you could make it, like, pink, and then the yellow color won't shine through that much. But, uh, there's a better way. So, you notice that I just use color balance. That's what we're going to use for this one. So, first, I want to mention, like, what these colors are exactly. Um, I don't know if these are the exact colors that Minecraft uses to overlay them but it's pretty close. So for the critical particle, it's a 89856E or so. And then the sharpness particle is 2B605C. I should make that my phone password. Anyway, so what I have done here is that in order to visualize what it's gonna look like in game, I just made a new layer in uh, paint.net using, uh, using the overlay blending mode. I just named it overlays, put these two colors in their respective positions, and uh, that's all you need to do for that. So now you can exactly see what they are going to look like in-game approximately. They might look a little bit different, but it's, it's going to be very, very similar to this. So what you can do with this is uh, change the color of the original particle before it's overlaid accordingly, so that the effect of the overlay and the effect of the original color kind of cancel out. What do I mean by this? Let's say I don't want the teal color. I want like a purely gray uh, sharpness particle, just like this. So what I can do is I, I can put this overlay on. I can, uh, let's say I delete this portion so you can only see the portion of the overlay that's like overlapping with the uh, particle itself. And I can select this whole thing on the particle layer. And if I go to color balance, this is a plugin that I think it comes with Bolt Bates plugins, yeah. Uh, this is super useful for just pack making in general, so would recommend using this. Um, if I use color balance, I can kind of adjust what the coloring is. So uh, I can see it's kind of cyan, so maybe I decrease the cyan, put it more towards the red side. That seems to be looking a bit better. Uh, it's starting to get a little bluish, so maybe I'll decrease the blue a little bit. Uh, now it's starting to get a little bit greenish, so I add a bit more magenta, maybe. Uh, you can fiddle around with these really however much you want in order to get something that you like. It's kind of difficult, though, to get exactly the right balance, because you can see, even still, like with the with the changes in coloring, you still have a tiny, like, sort of reddish spot right here, and, uh, yeah, it's kind of, kind of hard to adjust, but this, 
I mean, this little reddish bit right here, it won't really appear very much in game. So that's how you can fix it on the, on the uh, sharpness particle. And the crit particle you can be a bit more forgiving with because the saturation of the overlay isn't as much. It doesn't change the color of the particle as much. So I can, uh, what color do I want to make this? Let's say I want to make it uh, purple. So let me reset all of these. I can move it more magenta. That's already looking pretty good. If I just like, you know, add a bit more, I can turn down the brightness, increase the contrast maybe. But uh, let's say I want to make this one gray, just like the other one. This one should be a bit easier. Uh, I can just decrease the yellow and it's basically right there. It's basically silver once again. So yeah, just mess around with these uh, color balance stuff. Oh, whoops. Make sure the uh, overlay is set to the overlay blending mode. Uh, and once you're done, you can just remove this overlay and you'll notice that the original color of your particles is a lot different than what it once was. Uh, you can delete the overlay layer, you can delete this template thing as well. And then you can put this file, this particles.png file into your game and it should look normal the way you want it to. So, uh, hope this helped. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions, I'll try and answer them. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later.